Question 4.1 consists of seven data handling questions that were designed to assess your understanding of data handling in relation to multiple line graphs that are drawn on the same set of axes. You are given multiple line graphs that are drawn on the same set of axes in the answer sheet. The graphs represents the average monthly retail price of orange juice per litre in Canadian dollars for 2018 through to 2021. You should notice that the graph for 2021 is not completed on the answer sheet and you will be asked to complete this graph using the values in table 3. In question 411, you are asked to calculate the difference between the price of orange juice in January and February 2019. The graph indicates the price of orange juice in January 2019 as 4,3 Canadian dollars and the price of orange juice in February 2019 was given as 4,1 Canadian dollars. It is clear to see that there was a decrease in the price between the two months. So the cost difference between these two months is 4,1 minus 4,3 and this gives you a cost difference of negative 0,20 Canadian dollars. You should note that the negative sign here indicates that there was a decrease in the price from January to February. In question 412, you have to write down the month and year in which the price of orange juice was at its lowest. From the graph, the lowest price of orange juice was in February 2018. In question 413, you have to state the month and years in which the price of orange juice was exactly the same. On the graph, the month and years when the price of orange juice was the same was November 2018 and 2019. In question 414, you have to determine the median monthly price of orange juice for 2020. From the graph, this solid line represents the price of orange juice for 2020. To calculate the median, we first have to arrange these values in ascending order. Using a ruler, you can work your way from the lowest value to the highest value on the solid line. Write the values as they appear. The result will look like this. The median value is the value that divides the data set into two equal parts. In other words, the value in the middle of the data set. Here you will have an even number of values in the data set, so you have to find the average or the mean of the middle two values. The mean of the middle two values is 4,26 plus 4,27 divided by 2, and this will give you a median of 4,265 Canadian dollars. In question 415, you will have to describe the trend in the price of orange juice from February 2018 to July 2018. On the graph, the thick dashed line represents the price of orange juice in 2018. From February to July 2018, the price increased steadily until June and thereafter decreased slightly. In question 416, it is stated that an analyst predicted that the price of the orange juice would drop by 0 0.16 Canadian dollars from February 21 to March 21. You will have to determine the year-on-year -year percentage increase from March 2020 to March 2021. You are given a formula for the percentage increase as new value minus the old value divided by the old value multiplied by 100%. Now the new value in the formula is the price of the orange juice in March 2021. On the graph you will notice that the graph for 2021 is incomplete and there is no price given for March 2021. But the price of the orange juice for March 2021 is calculated using the statement of the analyst. Since the analyst predicted a drop of 0 0.16 Canadian dollars from February 2021 to March 2021, the price of orange juice for March 2021 is calculated as 4.46 Canadian dollars minus 0 0.16 Canadian dollars and this equals a price of 4.30 Canadian dollars. Now the old value in the formula is the price of the orange juice in March 2020. The price of the orange juice in March 2020 is read of the graph as 4,23 Canadian dollars. Now substituting these values into the given formula like this, this will give you a percentage increase of 1,65%. In question 417, you have to use the values in table 3 to complete the line graph on the answer sheet for March 2021 to December 2021. The value for March 2021 was calculated in question 416 as 4,30 Canadian dollars. 
The rest of the values are given in the table. First, you will have to plot the points for 2021 on the graph and then join the lines to complete the line graph. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you found this video helpful, you can subscribe to be notified of more videos like this. And you can check out this video next.